I'm JD the Media Jack and welcome to another edition of The Flip Side, episode 451. This time around, it is round two of the NAFTA quiz. A little while ago, I subjected my friend Dark Avenger C86, Chris, who lives in New York, to some Canadian trivia. This time around, it is myself, Mark, and James, some guys I love to play games with online, and they are being subjected to Canadian trivia. So enjoy this episode. If you're listening to the audio version, there is some things that you're going to miss out on because unfortunately there are some visual stuff that you can enjoy and you can enjoy that on YouTube. But if you are listening, thank you for listening on Anchor, Spotify, Google, Apple, and many other different locations where you can find your favorite podcasts. Without further ado, this is episode 451, NAFTA Quiz Part 2. Hi, Mark. You look good. I don't want the gnomes to find me. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, James, you going to turn on your camera? Yeah, hold on. I need to turn on my light. I just want to shirt this look on so I'm not showing all my sexiness to the world. Dark Avenger, are we going to see your pretty face as well? I'm not putting a shirt on. It's too hot. (laughs) I don't care. (laughs) I'm not putting my video on. All right. Oh, okay, I have an idea. Okay, great. As he falls off the fucking desk. No, my glass, my Hi. fake glasses that I'm not. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Hello. I'll try cleaning off my clamor. I'm I gonna, clamor. I'm gonna use something that's JD's favorite. Hold on. I look like a mess. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what to think about this. Ah, shit. There you are. All right. So to briefly explain this, what happened earlier, uh, actually it was quite a few months ago, a, I subjected Chris, the Dark Avenger, to a random trivia all about Canada. I gave him multiple categories. I removed a category for you two guys because you aren't so in-depth when it comes to comic book lore. I, I figured that was only fair. Yeah, we'd probably just be answering random questions. Yeah. So I random answers. My camera won't work, and now I figured out why. I don't have it plugged in. Dark Avenger, everyone. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I'm going to give a total of zero points. No, <laughs> you guys can work together with this. You can copy your answers all you want. That's fine. There's a couple of answers where you probably would be best if you work together. And we could even throw in Dark Avenger, too, because, um, like I said, I already changed the questions, so... Actually, there's oh. one there's one question I did not change, and I don't think he remembers the answer anyway. <laughs> so I remember nothing. Okay, are we still waiting on you, Dark? Ow, my hand! <laughs> bitch. Look at my spiky hair, guys. You look great. <laughs> Actually, both of you guys look great. I'm loving the COVID beard. It's good. Yeah, well, that's my normal beard. Unless you're talking about Mark, then. Uh... <laughs> Oh, Jesus, why? (laughs) You're wearing a shirt. Okay, so we just flipped from one camera to another. How did that happen? I don't know. I'm fixing it. Give me a second. (laughs) This is is the Deadpool creeper cam. (laughs) Look at it. it It's like he's trying to hide it from somebody (laughs) creeping on. Why are you doing this, Dark? Why not? Fucking weird. Formally, I'd like to uh, introduce and welcome Dark. You keep correcting me on the pronunciation of Mark's gamer tag. What? Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> Mark, what is the pronunciation of your gamer tag? It is Hylian Child. Hylian Child. So, Hylian Child 95, correct? Hi, Mark. Okay. And yeah, in the top left corner, we have James, also known as. Carberry 80 and uh. <laughs> trying his best to fool everyone that he is of Canadian descent, but he's not clearly because he is the Dark Avenger from New York. We have Chris. They call me Deadpool. <laughs> no, they don't. <laughs> so we have five different categories Hollywood North, sports, geography, random history facts, and music. You guys can all work together. Like I said, you can each have your own score and share answers if you like. 
Okay. Um, you two can do that. I'm a one man wolf pack, so I will not be doing that. Okay, so, but which category do you want to start with? Uh, who? <laughs> Hollywood North, sports, geography, <laughs> random history facts, or music? Fucking music. <laughs> Sure, music. <laughs> music? Okay, we'll start with music. Yeah, All right, so um, you guys can work together on this first one. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Dark Avenger. Name any song by the Bare Naked Ladies. <laughs> Why are you giggling? <laughs> <laughs> my, uh, um, um, where's my phone? Could this be my <laughs> no <laughs> searching through your phone. <laughs> Could this be multiple choice? No, no. Name any song by the Bare Naked Ladies. Fuck. Oh. Bare Naked Ladies. <laughs> no, no. Fuck. Damn. Like your ex-wife. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Dark Avenger. Uh, I see uh, you. You have a screen up, so no cheating. I'm not. That's actually this screen. I'm trying to lower it. <laughs> When your face suddenly gets I illuminated. I wall with a mask. <laughs> there you go. There's that smiling face. Anything? No? Okay. <laughs> the most familiar song you might know by the Bare Naked Ladies is If I Had a Million Dollars. Can you sing some of that for If I had a million <laughs> dollars, we, oh, we wouldn't have to walk to the store. If I had a million dollars, we could take a limousine because it cost more. No, <laughs> nothing? Really? No. Okay. Bare Naked Ladies <laughs> are also responsible for the theme song for The Big Bang Theory. Oh, I didn't know that. There you go. <laughs> All right. Okay, multiple choice. Which one of these is a Canadian band? Heart, Tragically Hip, Gomez, or ex ambassadors. Which one of those is a Canadian band? Only one of them. Um, Heart, on. tragically hip. A... Gomez, ex ambassadors. I want to go Gomez because it has the word "go" in it. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, what are you thinking? Uh, Heart. Heart and Chris. I'm going to go with Mark's answer. Mm. <clears throat> Gomez is from the UK. Ex-ambassadors are from the US. And so is... Oh. <laughs> yeah, that good. We lost Dark Avenger. Uh, Heart is also from the US. Heart is from Seattle. The Tragically Hip are the only ones from Canada. <laughs> I didn't know I don't understand why it kicked me off. Gee, it's a lack of mask. Um, okay, here's the next one, and I know Chris I might have a, a hand in this one. The two Canadian bands, Crash Test Dummies and Our Lady Peace, both have songs about what superhero? Nope, not saying it. I know. <laughs> Crash Test Dummies and Our Lady Peace both have songs referencing Wonder Woman. <laughs> Wonder Woman. Uh, I'm gonna go Superman. James says Superman. Mark says yeah. Wonder Woman. Chris, I'm saying pass because I know. No, no, you got to answer. You're a part of this. No, I'm not. I'm I'm only here watching them. I've done this already. You're not putting me through this twice. The you crash test dummies. A question and then like back out midway through. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't back out. I'm here for support. Go you ahead. Shield your face. Yeah. The Crash Test I Dummies and Our Lady Peace both have songs referencing Superman. Our Lady Peace Holy have shit. A, Our Lady Peace has a song called Superman's Dead, and mm -hmm. Crash Test Dummies have a song called Superman's Song. So that's music. James got one point. <laughs> Yay. All right. Random history facts, geography, sports, or Hollywood North. Hollywood North, let's do that. Hollywood North, okay. Which one of these shows was filmed in Canada? Multiple choice. A, Stranger Things. B, Dexter. C, Arrow. D, Lost. Well, it would be nice if I knew any of those shows. <laughs> or if he's watched any of them. Well, you can watch Probably them. would know. You can work together. A, Stranger Things. B, Dexter. 
C, Arrow, D, Lost. All I'm going to say is Smallville was filmed in Canada. So, is that like a hint to being... I'm gonna That's go a Arrow hint! Again. That was a hint, actually, yeah. <laughs> That's the biggest freaking hint I can give you. And that's it. Because <clears throat> JD, I think, knows I know the answer now. Yes, he does. Yeah, yeah. Mark? Uh, the arrow. Arrow. James? Yeah, I also say Arrow. Both are correct. That is... <laughs> yes. Arrow was filmed in Canada. In fact, uh, it, the entire series was filmed in Canada, including now Supergirl, The Flash, and Legends of Tomorrow. Including the UVD shows are all filmed in, I believe, I don't know if it's Alberta or shoot, not Alberta, Central, somewhere Central Canada, I think. Is it? Or was I right? It's Alberta. You're wrong on both ends. <laughs> They're all, it's all the way in your Hollywood, it, then, huh? It's all in Vancouver. I said Vancouver. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, good for you. You don't get a point. That's not part of the question. <laughs> All right, second second Hollywood North question. Actually, this refers to uh, uh, Canadian cities and where things are filmed. Resident Evil Apocalypse was based in Raccoon City, but was filmed where in Canada? Was it Calgary, Vancouver, Toronto, or Moose Jaw? I remember this one. Uh, That's the funniest Vancouver. Song. Mark says Moose Jaw. <laughs> James says Vancouver. Chris? Yeah. Says I don't remember the answer, but I remember this question. Okay, yeah. So um, it was filmed in Toronto. In fact, the oh, big yeah. end <laughs> fight scene, the big end fight scene where Alice, the big end fight scene where Alice is fighting like the big bad, uh, big bad guy uh, is actually like filmed right in front of Toronto City Hall. Yep, I All remember right. that. So, okay. final question in Hollywood North. Name any two Canadian actors. I want to be put on the spot like this. To make me well, actually, uh, <laughs> Dark Avengers giving you a giant hint. Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds. Yeah. <laughs> Ryan Reynolds. Wow, that was that didn't take too long. Um. <laughs> Fucking uh, <laughs> keep keep you know what if i can give you another hint keep thinking comedians in fact keep thinking very expressive comedians mark go ahead <laughs> nope i got nothing okay chris you want to help him out Kristen croc from smallville is a canadian actress that's true but that's a kind of a big pull uh mike myers also known mike as the myers. man behind shrek or wayne from wayne's oh. world J jim carrey <laughs> He is Canadian. Uh, Donald Sutherland is Canadian. Kiefer Sutherland is Canadian. Um, uh, I actually have something that James might relate. Chris Jericho, Ed, wait, Edge? Edge, Edge? Edge yeah. Edge is. Chris Jericho. Well, I, did, I didn't, oh yeah, Edge is an actor. I don't know why I didn't think of that. <laughs> yeah, that would have counted, but anyway. And Chris Jericho has been in certain movies. John Candy, yeah. Dan Aykroyd. Dan Aykroyd, yep. Yeah. Okay, so, um, all right. Sports, geography, or random history facts? <clears throat> Get geography, geography out of the way. Geography, yeah. that a boy. <laughs> See, now we're on the same wavelength. All right, here we go. Okay, so geography, name. <laughs> what did I write? Was I drunk? <laughs> it is a thing that's above America. <laughs> <laughs> name any three Canadian provinces. Oh fuck! Any, any, <laughs> any three, any yes! three. I live, I live in one of them. Come on. Uh, British Columbia. I heard that from Mark. British okay. Columbia. Um. Uh. Hey Siri, what are three? <laughs> <laughs> Siri, help. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know. Um, I don't know Dark either. Avenger. Dark Avenger mentioned one earlier. If I was only paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> when do we ever pay attention to Chris? Anyway, I, literally, literally, when I was talking about where Smallville was recorded. <laughs> all right. Literally, where I said. All right. All right. All right. Yeah. So, <laughs> British Columbia, Alberta, Saskatchewan, Manitoba, Ontario. 
uh, Nova Ontario. Scotia. Ontario. <laughs> Ontario. <laughs> yeah. New well, we'll, we'll I just named we'll, like four. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. Uh, you guys are getting one oh. point each for British Columbia. Okay. Okay. So here's a multiple choice question. Which city is not a capital? Every province and territory has a capital city. Which city is not a capital? Vancouver, Whitehorse, Edmonton, Toronto. Which city is yeah, not Yeah, I was going to say capital? Whitehorse. So Edmonton is the capital of Alberta. Toronto is the capital of Ontario. Whitehorse is the capital of Yukon. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Vancouver is the largest city in British Columbia, but it's not the capital, actually. Uh, Victoria is the capital of British Columbia. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> See? Make okay, so, so so here here's the thing, though. is like I'm going to send you guys the questions and how I laid them out because I, I want, like, Dark Avenger, you owe me this. I want you guys hey, yeah, to yeah, quiz yeah, me yeah. on America. I want to... To know exactly how dumb I am. You want to America. <laughs> what? You want to America. I want to America. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> uh, last, last, last question in geography. When is Canada Day? Oh, fuck. <laughs> uh... November 8th. Literally. <laughs> it's not November 8th. Shit. <sighs> happened. I'll give you a hint. It happened already. I wished it to JD. <laughs> yeah, it, it did happen yeah. already. Yeah. July 8th. I wished it. Yeah, I was going to say sometime in July, like maybe July the 1st. 7th. Or no, the 4th. July 6th. July 4th is yours. That's July ours. 6th. Well, I don't know. Maybe they share it. <laughs> don't look at me. No. Like <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't, uh -oh. even, we don't even share Celine Dion. Fuck off. <laughs> James, um, James, you actually said it. July 1st? It's July 1st. Motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, I'm going to give... I'm, no, I said it. I'll give it to you. Yeah, yeah, I'm going give, to give you guys points. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Five other numbers. <laughs> Sports or random history facts? Oh, let Mark pick this time. Sports. Sports. He said sports. sports. Okay. <laughs> all right, all right. Start off with something simple. Very simple. I don't care about the league. I don't care what what sport it is. Just name any three Canadian pro sports teams. Penguins. That's Pittsburgh. That's Pittsburgh. <laughs> <laughs> any three. Could be baseball. Could be hockey. The Maple Leafs. Okay. Toronto Maple Leafs. That's one. Oh, yes. Shit, that's one. <laughs> Think about baseball. Think about baseball. Come on. There's I don't one like team. sports, Chris. I don't know any well, you guys can all work together on this one. You guys can all work together on this one. So we have we have Toronto one. Toronto Blue Jays. Toronto Blue Jays. So we have the Toronto Maple Leafs. We have Toronto Maple Leafs. We have Toronto Blue Jays. We also have one basketball team. The Mooses. The Mooses. <laughs> the Mooses. Um, <laughs> Maple syrup. Maple syrup. You guys have got you, you guys got two out of three points. One more. Eskimos. Yes. <laughs> That's not even Canadian. No, no, that is correct. That is correct. The CFL Edmonton team is the Edmonton Eskimos. <laughs> I'll give it to you. That's three. That's three. Wow. <laughs> Mark pulled that one out of somewhere. Okay, so it's a, it's a good thing we're getting a sports one out of the way then. Which athlete is not Canadian? Multiple choice. A, Sidney Crosby. B. Pavel Bure. C. Ben Johnson. D. Steve Nash. The uh, third one of this one, so you guys are on your uh, own. Sydney, I'm going to go to the last one. Sidney Crosby. Steve Nash. Sid, Sidney Crosby. Pavel Bure. Ben Johnson. Steve Nash. Ben Johnson. Steve Nash. Ben Johnson. Steve Nash. Dark Avenger, I know I did not ask you this one. I don't know. Pick one. Pick <laughs> one. I'm going to go with Johnson. Okay. Sidney Crosby, funnily enough, is a Canadian. He plays in the NHL for the Pittsburgh Penguins. <laughs> <laughs> Steve Nash is retired. He was an NBA player, Damn. and he was Canadian. 
Uh, ben Johnson is actually also Canadian. He is a world record holder sprinter. <laughs> <laughs> Pavel Bure, even though his name Who sounds... the biggest Canadian-sounding name out of all of them. He's actually Russian, and he played for the Vancouver Canucks. <laughs> mm. Okay. Uh, Chris, I'm going to throw... trick question. <laughs> <laughs> you lied. You lied. Uh, <laughs> okay, uh, last sports question, and then we're going to get into the last category. Um, and Chris, I asked you this question, and I'm, okay, I'm, so com- I'm no, 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 no. I no, I'm okay. You let them figure it out, and then if you if you remember the answer, then I'll give it to you. What okay. what are the national winter and summer sports? I remember um. what. One of them is real. One of them is real simple. What's the national sport of Canada for winter? Hockey. Yes. Okay, that's one. Yes. Okay. What's the national sport of Canada for summer? Lacrosse. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good shit. Yes. Yeah, out of nowhere. Man, you are really good at uh, letting Google search you some phone. questions. I what are you? Doing? <laughs> I don't know how you take the out of everything. No, what, no. Okay, so no. Hold on, hold on. If if we go back, if we go back and we go back to uh, the first NAFTA quiz I did exclusively with Chris, Dark Avenger. He knew the sport. He just couldn't remember the name. So, yeah, totally reasonable. Yes, winter hockey, summer lacrosse. All right, random history facts. Last category. You guys are doing great, by Please the way. You guys, you guys are me. basically on par with Dark Avenger. <laughs> yeah, you are. Okay. Okay. So, uh, which invention is Canadian? Which one is Canadian? Multiple choice. A, Weed Whacker. B, Post-it Notes. C, Garbage Bags. Or D, Coolers. I'm going to go with the Weed Whacker. I'm going to say Post-it Notes. Dark Avenger? Trying to remember. I swear you, <laughs> you said jelly beans, which meant that it was the last. It was I changed the question. So, <laughs> I could have sworn I know this one. I don't know. I'm gonna say I'm, I'm skipping this one. I'm taking the pass. Okay. <clears throat> the one you guys didn't pick was coolers. That one is American. It was invented in 1952. Weed whacker. Weed is American. Invented in 1971. Post-it notes, American, <laughs> invented in 1968. Gar- garbage bags were Canadian, invented in 1950. Because America never needed garbage bags because we just threw our garbage everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Whose alarm's going off? It's not me. Oh, uh, it's you, Mark. Okay, yeah, gotcha. Wait, Mark, would you just put us in his pants? <laughs> no, he just set it down. He yeah. didn't put it in his pants. That much of I had a feeling it was garbage bags, but if I said garbage bags and then it was post-its, I, I would have felt <laughs> Okay. Um, another random history fact. Uh, we're going to go back to sports, but hey, it's multiple choice. It's multiple choice. Okay, so America has the NFL, the National Football League. Canada has the CFL, the Canadian Football League. We have the Grey Cup, which is the big trophy. How old is it? Is the Grey Cup 120 years old, 97 years old, 66 years old, or 111 years old? 120, 97, 66, 111. Uh, yeah, I was going to say. I'm going to go 111 too. Dark Avenger? I'll go 120. Dark Avengers wrong. <laughs> Mark and James are correct. Yeah. <laughs> the Grey Cup is 111 years old. The first Grey Cup was awarded Did you hear that? in 1909. I heard something. There was. I'm hearing it, and that's what... There was literally, like... Cheering? But, like, constant... <laughs> No, no, I don't hear that. No. Okay. 
He's losing it. <laughs> can you get, can we, can you give it a flavor, a texture? Every, every quick, everyone look off into space for a quick sec. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know what I'm hearing, especially because there's a tree on my wire. You want oh, to see me yeah, yeah. Sudden... Okay. Final question. This is the final question of everything. It's the final question of the category. Uh, what is the iconic French dish that only has three ingredients? Oh, no multiple choice? No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> no. What is, the, what is the iconic French cuisine that only has three ingredients? Croissants. French toast. No, no. <laughs> Mark? I know. I know it's no. An eclair. Uh, I don't know. Not, not an eclair. <laughs> yeah, it's... You guys um, get another shot. Uh, something very French and not French fries. Very French. I, the French toast was a complete is it a joke. Or is it like a I know bun? that. You, no, it's not, it's not a dessert. You... Uh, um, before it became really, really popular, people to actually have this as a meal. But nowadays, you can get this almost anywhere. Hmm. And it's French. And it's French. And it's French. Um, it has a French name. Escargot. It, ooh. <laughs> 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 no. <laughs> Um, that's only one ingredient. That's one ingredient. Snail. Snail. That's it. <laughs> fucking uh, omelet. Oh, nope. No. Nope. Um, if I don't you say know. it and then it was the next thing I was going to say, I'm going to fucking lose my shit. Well, then say the next <laughs> thing you're going to say. No, I'll, give, I'll just let you say it. <laughs> James? I don't want to blurt it out. James? No. <laughs> Um, I was going to say bacon, but I don't think that's right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm just thinking of food. I'm like, what could it be? Dark Avenger? Could it be? Dark what Avenger? is a French food um, that has only three ingredients? <laughs> Caviar? That's Caviar? one. That's what? one ingredient. That's just fish eggs. It's just fish eggs. <laughs> <laughs> There's more fish eggs. It's just fish eggs. They put salt in it and they put vinegar. Caviar is one ingredient. The fish eggs. The third ingredient. <laughs> we know what fish eggs are. Thank you, Rachel. One more. Give, me, give me one more, Rachel. It's French. fries. French fries. <laughs> you, you know what? <laughs> She's on the right track. Oh, you're on the right track. So it's a potato item. Yes. It's a potato item, okay? It's a, it's a, a meal. Three ingredients with a potato. Mashed potatoes. It, okay, so yeah, it used to be considered a flat-out meal, and then it became popularized, and it just started spread all over North America. And you could actually get this as a side with your a baked burger. potato. Not a baked potato. <laughs> Anything? Dark Avenger? Grits. James? Fucking, grits. Not, um... Grits is southern. <laughs> mashed potatoes, man. No, not mashed potatoes. No. What oh. season of potatoes? They just said that. I don't need you to eat those people either. <laughs> Fucking goddamn. You ready? I've never had potatoes seconds. with. You ready? Caviar. You know what? A, a lot of people would just consider this just a whole bunch of toppings, but if you put cheese curd on top of fries and then smother it in gravy, it is considered poutine. <laughs> Yeah, I was ever. That's definitely the word I was thinking. Of. Poutine. <laughs> poutine. Yeah, no, P o u t i p o u t i n e. It is cheese, like gravy, no and yeah, <laughs> treat. <laughs> it's cheese, gravy, and fries, and it was considered a uh, French Canadian delicacy for many, many years. And maybe it hasn't reached you guys yet. I'm not, I'm not sure, but I know that I can go to any fast food restaurant nowadays and get an order of poutine, which is. Basically, oh, we can get an order of fries at McDonald's. Okay, there you go. Yeah. None, none of what you think about asking for caviar on top of it. I yeah. think they'd look hey, clear. can I get a side of poontang with my Big Mac, please? <laughs> they look at you like, what? Who won? I think, well, I, you guys definitely had a clear lead over top of Dark Avenger. That's much for, not much is for sure. 
Because I didn't answer something. <laughs> yeah, well, it was also the fact that uh, when you guys worked together, you did better. But both Mark and James had the Grey Cup. But I think just off the top of my head, I think James won by one point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, no. But, hey, you know what? I, I, I did this because I wanted to uh, just have some fun with you guys. And also, I want this to come back to me i want to be quizzed on america because you know what this shit is kind of fun i'm not as bright as you may think i just sound like it so <laughs> <laughs> but i'm gonna wrap this up thank you dark avenger for spectating and being part of this uh oh, yeah. thank you again mark and james uh you guys are absolute great and hilarious and fun to just be around and play games with and of course uh to follow on social media and twitch because <laughs> the, the amount of love that comes from these two guys is overflowing at times 